The air of a big occasion lay over Westminster. This day will have a place in history. For the first time, Conservative members came to the House to elect their leader. Two men, one of them Edward Heath, were main contenders for that honour. The other, Reginald Maudling, later conceded that the victory was Mr Heath's. The disadvantages of a second ballot were thus avoided. The next day, press men were in force at the Albany, Piccadilly home of the new leader. Edward Heath paused for the photographers. News reels, British and foreign, and the world press had to have pictures of the man of the hour. This astute, genial Tory has the drive and energy essential in modern politics. He is 49. He should stay at the top for many years. Then to the central office to make a keenly awaited statement. Mr Heath began with a reference to Sir Alec Douglas Hume. I've seen him this morning after the chairman of the 1922 committee announced the results at half past 11 and Sir Alec said he will be very happy to serve in any capacity in which he can be of help. Naturally I'm absolutely delighted at this and of course I shall take advantage of his very kind offer. And I would like now to express my own appreciation of the attitude of Reggie Maudling yesterday when the result was announced and the magnanimity which I attributed to him in the statement which I issued before lunch. And similarly, I would like to express my gratitude to Enoch Powell. And I am, of course, delighted that uh, we shall serve together in the shadow cabinet. <laughs>